Mike Corey, and I'm the CFO of Medallia. Well, another thing that is top of mind, just uh, for a minute in our space, this uh, customer experience. Uh, what, what, what's very interesting as a finance person is, if you think about it, we're very devoted to all the obvious things, like you know, getting the books closed, getting them dead accurate, uh, very much understanding uh, what's happening with recent pronouncements from an accounting standpoint, regulatory changes, disclosure rule changes, risk factoring, all of those kinds of things that you need to do in your, in your regulatory filings, your financial filings, whatever. But if you think about it, yeah, all of that is by definition backward looking. Super crucial, it's, it's our day job, it's what we do. But if you really think about it, it's, it, it's not, there's no prognostic value in that, okay? Other than pure extrapolation. When you look at things like what we provide, this customer experience data, these key metrics like uh, to use an example, the Net Promoter Score, or NPS, if you've ever heard of that. These things are crucial because as you see the movements there, they have tremendous prognostic value, not as to how your business just did, but how it's going to do. So for CFOs and increasingly audit committees, they're really beginning to demand data like that. And so that's why we think that this brand new space that we're leading in is so crucial because it provides prognostic value. And I would say, I would even go further. I would say not only are CFOs on it now and audit committees are beginning to ask about it, but I wouldn't be surprised if five or 10 years down the line, there's actually some regulatory requirements that it wouldn't be vendor specific, obviously, or even potentially metric specific, but it would require disclosure about your customer satisfaction data. That is a really, really important area.